Winter is coming, guys, so we're gonna need to know what the best tiny whoop is. Now, we tried the Mo Beetle and the Mobula 6, but I hovered this in my house just for a few seconds, flew it around, and my goodness, it's the most control I've ever had with something this small. Because it is so cold out here, I got the OG starter jacket. John here, guys! And today, we're talking about the newbie drone, Hummingbird V2. Winter isn't just coming, guys. It's pretty much already here. We finally have a new clear best whoop of the year championship spoiler alert this is the best controlled best handling best performing overall whoop that i've ever flown yes we are going to compare it to the champion of the last several years the mobula 6 and its new successor the mo beetle now what both of these have in common is that they are a little bit cheaper and a bit lighter than the Hummingbird V2, but we're gonna go over why. For precise flying like racing or where you're flying inside your house, we're sacrificing a few extra grams of weight. If you compare the Mo Beetle to the Hummingbird V2, you're actually going up in weight by a total of almost eight grams and that is significant at this size. So then why does this one fly better? Newbie Drone just puts a bit more magic into it for instance these little motor pads at the bottom which really keep everything into place the cockroach frame that they use is on their who knows how many iterations but it's just a bit more solid now neither one of these frames is likely to break but the video system on here the control system on here the flight controller and electronic speed controller combination on here this thing does come at a heavy for whoop flying 25 grams whoa this is heavy there's that word again heavy now, what's the difference you say between the newbie drone hummingbird line and the acro line not as much as you would find in the five inch category for racing indoors competition the hummingbird line is a little bit more what you'd like and for putting around the slightly lighter acro is what you're gonna want to go with but they can pretty much be changed up interchangeably and one of the reasons why i haven't really reviewed a lot of the newbie drone whoop series is because they just cost so much more even if they did perform 10 or 20 percent more is it worth a increase in price of 30 to 40 percent well this hummingbird v2 actually slashes the price down to 109.99 and that puts it at a much more usable range as maneuverable and flyable as the mobula 6 has been this is the next jump and evolution the hummingbird v2 has a number of really nice upgrades uh, some of the things that are significant are these brand new newbie drone 0802 18,000 kV motors. They're going to be torquey, which means you're going to have a lot of grip in the corners without being too overly powerful in a straight line. What does that mean? That means it's going to give you the maximum amount of handling and durability. If you could imagine you were going on a tight autocross track, not a drag racing track, because that's what you turn your living room and your kitchen into when you fly one of these things. So you do want the maximum amount of grip in the turn so that you can make those little tight turns like through a chair leg. And that's what this thing does the best. You can see in here, the new newbie drone board in fact it doesn't take up the full 25 by 25 so that saves you a little bit of weight which is good because this is a chunky boy things like these little motor pads which increase the strength of this cockroach frame now this is probably where you're going to get the most of your weight this very strong and very protective canopy up here it keeps everything safe it holds both the radio antenna and your video antenna in place that are going to be sticking up nice and proud and giving you the best signal for both these very grippy az props are going to be doing you good it has a premium whoop connector right here if we compare it to the mo beetle and the mobula 6 acro comes in at 25.5 grams mo beetle 17.2 grams extremely light mobula 6 19.3 grams to a lighter canopy like this or even something like this to save a little bit of that weight at the time of their release 
this was the king of the mountain for like almost two years this i believe edges it out slightly by sacrificing some of that durability all three of these have express lrs built in all three of these could win you a championship race if you had the skills to pay the bills but for an average pilot that just wants that maximum degree of precision um, you want everything tuned for you out of the box this is the champion it's worth an extra 10 or 20 dollars so if you have to have one of these is it worth an upgrade for this well for only a hundred bucks it's kind of nice to be able to have both when you do have the whoop size and the crafts are not four to five to six hundred dollars each you can have a plethora of them a what a plethora and kind of get everything out there the video transmitter is standalone it's not built into the board so it has slightly less noise whenever you do have a craft that performs so much better that it feels like it instantly levels up your skills uh, it's not that that's happening it's just that this has an exceptional tune out of the box now like any bind and fly i don't suggest you buy this and start trying to retune it yourself at least not at first get a good amount of stick time on the stock settings because after all you could build your own one of these they're not that difficult they don't require a ton of soldering right so part of what you're paying for is the tune so take advantage of that tune fly it a lot then and only then decide if you want to tweak it but i'm going to be leaving this stock for this size craft i pretty much all fly them out of the box i like to get my drone time in the form of stick time guys what are you guys doing have you already started whooping has your five inch ended for the season are you covered in snow do you have to use a snow blower or an ice scraper what's all that about man wasn't meant to live in the barren snowy wastelands of the north so if you want to fly year round come on down join us at the night spot Hottest whoop of the year, the Doobie Drone Hummingbird V2. Johnny F5 here, guys. 533 hand warmers. Now, instead of warming your hands in your pussy, use these. <laughs> Click affiliate links down below. 533 hand warmer. It's pretty, pretty warm. Mm. It's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's about as cold as it gets in Texas right now. It's about yeah. 45 degrees. So I'm wearing eight layers of clothing. And there are three modes here. Very hot, hot, and warm. <laughs> and they also can charge your iPhone. Because the hardest thing to do when it gets cold is use your fingers whenever you need to fly your quad. Yeah, like these fingers. <laughs> so instead of getting your hands... <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> is it legal to say on YouTube? I don't know. I mean, we're just, I don't we know. We might yeah. get demonetized. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, I don't think it's a curse word, right? Yeah, yeah. I only make like a dollar off of this video anyway. <laughs> Damn, you're getting rich. <laughs> and this gets approximately as hot as your like hottest battery when you send it very hard till it's dead. That's it gets pretty, pretty hot. hot, yeah. Yeah, 5.3, look at that. With Wind a nice coming, uh, rubber leash. 